Okay, so today I'd like to make what's called a truncated octahedron. And so here it is here. It's a little bit hard to see, um, but I'm using it right now as a another vase uh, for a flower, as you can see. But it's a little bit hard to see since it's transparent, but you can sort of get maybe a little bit of the effect down here. Um, but this is what I'm going to show you how to make. Essentially, it's the same thing, it's just it's a little bit easier to see uh, the patterns, okay? And so what we have is squares and hexagons all connected, okay? So let me, let me um, start this guy, okay? Now, you need three balloons and lots of air left over, and, and so we start the following. So we're going to do eight. So in total, we're going to make 16 balloons, or 16 bubbles for each balloon. Okay, but originally we just start with an octagon. Okay, and so the next one, I'm going to do two more. So now, 
the original octagons are all now squares. So now I just need to connect uh, some more things. Okay, so what am I going to do? So for this first one, I'll just do the pink ones that are there. I'm just going to be, uh, I'm going to make a hexagon. What the heck? Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. okay, and so there's my first hexagon. Now, the next one's not going to be quite so easy. Um, because now what I have to do is I have to go, this, this one here is going to join up with this guy. Um, so it's going to be in this way. One, two, two, um, four, five. And so I'm making another hexagon with the yellow here. So I left myself lots of room with these balloons. So what it means is I'm going to have to do some trimming. Um, and so now, final, the final balloon is a little bit more tricky. Um, it's going to be one here, two, through the yellow, like so. Back down. Okay. And now it's going to connect up to the pink one here. Just right here. And then finally back here. Now, if I made this balloon lots, I'd know how to make the bubble the exact size so I wouldn't have all this sticking out. But first off, let me finish off this thing here. I take the two blues here, connect it up. Um, I take these two yellows, connect them up, and finally. Everything's correct except for some of these ones that I have here. What I'd like to do is put another bubble there. And so, um, what I'm going to do. Oh, crap, let me see. All I'm going to do now is trim the rest of this balloon that I didn't need, tie it off. So I left one bubble out. So that makes a double bubble uh, right here. So, uh, and so I can just stuff that in. And similarly, I can do that with the rest. But what you can see is essentially um, I have um, I have the shape I'm looking for, which is the truncated octagon. And so. Um, after trimming and doing those things, you essentially get one of these. And so the key is, if you look, you've got a square, two X's here, and um, your business. And so each one looks exactly the same, and so it's symmetrical. So straight down this way, and then this one is that way. Anyway. And then you can make a nice vase by making it all one color. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers.